Uh, let's get an update now on our developing story with a potential BART strike in the works just 11 days from now. Mike Pelton live at the West Oakland BART station with more. Mike. Well, Mark, today is dump the pump day. You're encouraged to ride mass transit today. And that is why union officials chose this morning to hand out these flyers to all commuters. These, these flyers indicate that in just 10 days, their contract with BART expires and potentially they'll have to go on strike. Now, here is some video from just a short time ago. You can see those union workers handing out the flyers. In total, there are five unions that contract with BART. This is the largest one. They tell me they have safety concerns surrounding several issues. They also want better pay and benefits in the new contract. BART officials say it's a very fair contract and safety measures are constantly addressed. This all comes as the union contracts expire at the end of the month. Both sides say they are far apart, but they do agree that a strike is the worst possible outcome. We don't get paid if we go on strike. I mean, the, the public is not going to be real happy with this. It's, it's not conducive to running BART. I mean, we're public employees. We care about the public. Everyone knows when BART shuts down, the Bay Area shuts down. So that's what we're trying to avert here. We are working with MTC to do a strike contingency plan. That way, if there is a strike, which nobody wants, we at least have some alternative means of getting around the Bay Area. BART's largest union will hold a strike vote on June 25th. That will determine if the workers are even willing to walk off the job. BART officials say as of now, all signs point to a strike which would shut down BART. And you can guess how riders are reacting to that news. Figure it out and figure it out quick. The bottom line. Well, I just think that, you know, somebody's going to have to agree with something, you know, because, you know, a lot of people are going to be, you know, not getting to work on time and other jobs are going to get affected. Two state mediators are now involved in these negotiations to try and help move everything along. We'll have to wait and see how that all plays out next week. But Mark, if you remember, uh, which I'm sure you do, just a few weeks ago, BART had that accident in the Trans Bay tube. It created utter gridlock around the Bay Area. So certainly there's lots of commuters hoping a deal gets done next week. Back to you, Mark. Yeah, I think we all are. Thanks for the update, Mike.